wanted to fly a plane, a radio control plane that is, you may want to head south. There's a specialized airfield in Casa Grande with an on-site weather station just for radio controlled aircraft. And they even have a club. Fox 10 photojournalist Corey Goodwin has more on this hobby and how the club got its start. About 10 years ago, I was looking for a spot where everyone in the valley, you know, in the Casa Grande area could fly. They agreed eventually to lease us this 11 acres of land for a dollar a year. The field's now eight years old. They fly like, just like real airplanes. Some of them have flaps, they have everything. The control is, exact, is exactly the same as a real aircraft. The only difference is the size of it, and instead of having a, uh, a wheel or a stick, you have the controller. The newer ones now have gyros in them that keep them level and make it easier to land. And they're wonderful. It makes it a lot easier for people to learn to fly. I used to fly real aircraft, but the perspective is very different. You know, you're, you're not seeing the end of the runway. So it took me the first year just to land on the runway. I always land in the sagebrush. So they called me a bush pilot. I'd come back with it, holding the plane by the tail and, uh, you know, with pieces of it and everything else because I'd crash in the sagebrush and carry it back. And they'd take a picture of me, say, another off-the-field landing. It's more uh, your pride than anything that your buddies just saw you crash your plane. I'd spend my afternoons fixing the plane so I could fly the next morning, and that was the whole routine. Gave me something to do all day. Fly, crash, fix it, fly again. Just Part of the hobby. Today, I think you saw two, three crashes, something like that, or four. I don't know whatever it was, but that's that's just part of it. They, you know, if you if you fly it, you're going to crash it. Taking off is is optional. Landing is not.